While convolutional neural networks are widely used for image-related tasks, questions remain about what they actually rely on for their predictions. Good performance on the training dataset doesn't imply good performance on an independent test dataset, which might be out of distribution, even though for humans it looks semantically equal to the training set. Adversarial examples take this to the extreme by often being visually identical to their base image for humans, while being classified incorrectly by a convolutional neural network with 100% confidence. We've developed Perturba, a tool that allows users to inspect and compare responses from multiple CNNs while perturbing a 3D rendered input image in various ways. The tool is implemented with client-side web technologies and will therefore be made available for anyone with a half-decent GPU as an easy-to-use website. Perturba's main interface components are the interactive scene, the activation map view, where you can inspect activations from various pre-selected neuron groups, as well as the prediction view, where the top five predictions from each model are displayed. Below the activation map view, you can assign three different models to two model slots. We provide a standard ImageNet trained model, along with two fine-tuned versions. One has been fine-tuned on stylized ImageNet, the other one has been adversarially fine-tuned. You can also choose a checkpoint along the fine-tuning process. Here are some examples of what you can do with Perturba. Blurring the texture leaves a dog with a shiny surface, so it gets classified as a cowboy boot or a piggy bank by the standard model, while the adversarially trained model still recognizes it as a dog. Dog-relevant neurons also reflect this result. The same applies for the texture influence parameter. Changing the texture to a cat while preserving the dog shape fools the standard model while the stylized ImageNet trained model is not impressed. Conversely, when we change the shape but keep the dog texture, the standard model's predictions don't change very much, while the stylized ImageNet trained network takes the shape change into account. Comparing a neuron that responds to cars from the standard model to its corresponding neuron in the adversarially trained model, while changing the background from a street scene to a grassy background, we can see that the adversarially trained model seems to be more sensitive to the background change. Also, the adversarially trained model seems to be quite thrown off about the classification result while the standard model still mostly recognizes a race car besides the occasional lawnmower. We can also investigate adversarial attacks. The standard model is selected as the attacked model. We will decrease the L2 length of the attack vector to a value of 30. We will do a targeted attack towards grey whale. We can see how the outputs change after each projected gradient descent iteration. We can also interpolate with the unattacked image. Compared to the standard model, the adversarially trained network's prediction is only slightly affected by the attack. Also, the response of the oriented dog head neurons decreases in the standard model, while the corresponding neurons in the adversarially trained model don't behave very differently. Targeting the adversarially trained model leads to a much more visible perturbation, which fools both models. While not yet looking like a grey whale to us, the dog now has clearly visible artifacts. In this video, we've only shown some examples of what you can do with our tool Perturba. Please check it out yourself at this URL.